Hello everyone, Emmylou here. Today we're going to draw a warus for Abigail and all of you out there. So we want pencil, paper. I want to show you based on an artist that actually goes out and draws from life. He's not alive anymore, but he was called David Shepherd. He was English. That's when he was born, 1931. Died 2017. So he was quite old. Um, when he died and he, he was amazing, amazing, he probably wasn't that old to be fair, but he was amazing at what he did. I'm going to show you some pictures. Really, really cool. He'd go out in the wild and draw a little bit like the penguin man um, that I spoke to you about. He drew lots of different wild animals. So there's a rhino. How cool is that? It's like a photograph. And then we've got a cute little elephant. And then we've got, this is like almost my favourite beautiful tortoise and he did sea lions or what look a little bit like walruses so we're going to draw a walrus today I've got one in front of me but that's okay I might end up turning into a walrus <laughs> mm, okay so we've got a cool little um goldfish I suppose goldfish that I uh, painted I really like drawing for goldfish, so I thought things to do with water. So I also did a swordfish, which is kind of cool. And I really enjoyed doing that one. I think when you do a lot of painting, it becomes quicker for you and you just naturally don't worry if you make a mistake, you rub it out, it's no big deal. This one's a puffin. So I'm gonna start with the walrus. So pencil, paper, it's gonna be landscape. Doesn't seem to like the light, does it? Does it? <laughs> okay, let's go. Right, the first thing you want to do is you want to work out where you want him on the paper. So I'm going to do a shape like this to begin with. So think about on this side, almost like a rainbow, but it's going up. So you're going to go whoop. So it's not a rainbow. Hang on. It's not a rainbow like this do you know what I mean it's a rainbow like that so let's do a rainbow but then you want to go line down so rainbow line down and then you're going to go Wee! so just think hill line little hill and whatever your size paper is you want to fill up the paper as much as you can so we've got a gap here for now, and we've got a gap here for now. So just take your time. If you've made a mistake, just rub it out, go over it again. Don't worry, as long as it looks like hill, other hill. Yeah? Okay, now we're gonna do another hill. But it's very subtle, so it means it's not, whoa, like a rainbow. It's just, da da da. Okay, and then right at the end, you're gonna do a line going out. Can you see that line? And then you're going to go down. So you're going, it's like a little mini, mini hill. Think about a little mini hill. And you're going to go down. So little mini hill and down. Give that a go. See how you feel. Now, when we've done that, we want to do this. We want to go, you're going to go round, little roundy bit. If you can't see that. You can see it, I think. And then you're going to go, Whee! Think of it like, it's almost like a W, isn't it? It's like a W, I'd say. I feel like I want this to be nearer to you so you can see it more. So it's like a W, so like wobbly W. Now, this bit's the fun bit because it's going to be the tusks that are coming out of his... It's like his little nostril things. Well, it's not his nostril, because his nostrils are here. So we're just going to draw those in, little nostrils. And then we're going to do like a little bitty eye. And I'm going to do a little white bit in there and colour it black. So can you see? It's like a little eye. This one's his other eye. Can't really see it because it's around the other side. But we'll shadow that in, so it'll be fine. Right. Now, touch this bit here. And you're going to go down. It's quite long. And then almost like a little line. And then you're going to go that line there. 
I don't know if it is that line. I've got my little, I've got my little picture that I'm copying. Where is he gone? Oh yeah, what is that? Didn't look right for me. And then just join it up. So think chunky goes down to small. Here it's going to come out there. Little line going down. So you want two big tusks if you like. Then we want to do a little line. You know where we did this bit? Just going to do a little line there because it's the shadow of him. So don't worry if it looks strange, it's the shadow. Okay, now they always remind me of big slugs and um, walruses, but they're gorgeous animals. So we're going to touch this bit here and we're going to go. Like that. Think about a big tummy, just like that. Then, just looking, because I think it'd be nice to do whiskers, but he doesn't have many whiskers. And then we want to do his little, it's like he's really, he's, his skin, his skin's almost like an elephant, because it's really wobbly. It's like really wrinkly. So we're going to do this. We're going to go one, two, it's almost like you're going. It's like sausages almost and then down so it's like la 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 and then you're gonna go because ah, that bits his little bit of his of his fin his little arm now here's really easy because we're gonna touch this bit here we're gonna go up and we're gonna go around and then once we've done a u shape we're gonna go back to here so U shape, and then round. If you can't think of it, think of it like a big, kind of almost half a banana, I think. <laughs> and then you're gonna go line, just there. And then you're gonna do this. You're gonna go, oh, because we want the flipper, if you like, or the fin, whatever it's called, to be looking like it's got lines on him because he's like, <laughs> right. After you've done that, think about the fact that he's really, really, it's like one of those dogs that has lots of saggy skin. So we're going to touch this bit here and we're going to go, I'm going to do this just to help you because it'll be easier for you. So we're just going to do a line to there. But if you're a bit older or you feel more confident, you could literally just do that and forget this line. Because this line should kind of like your guideline. So you want lots of saggy things. You want lots of cool lines. Don't be scared to add all of the lines in because the lines are what make him look like a walrus. So now we're going to do the tail and the tail is going to be like this. You're going to go touch this bit here and you're going to do a line up and then you're going to do that. So it's like you're about to draw a circle, but you're not. And you're going to turn that into a line there so it's like a heart it's like you're about to draw a heart if you can't do that i'll do it again touch that line there and if you want to you can just go all the way up to create a heart shape then you're going to do a line here now all you want to do is the flippery bits so it's the tail so you can do one two and then here you're going to do think bananas and if you can't think bananas, just think it's a flipper. It's like his, it's like his feet. So you just want like big, almost like monkey, monkey hands. <laughs> they look really cute. So think of it like that. He's just all raw, and he walks a, a walks along, kind of with all of his skin all over the place, as in wobbling around. He's not kind of cute. Right, I'm just doing a line there, line there. Now, what you might want to do is you might want to have him on a rock. So you could actually, on this rock, you could maybe do some starfish if you want. You could do some seaweed that's growing on there. You could do some shells. Because in effect, he's in the sea. So he's on a rock in the sea. So I'm just going to do some lines to make it look like a rock. Okay, let's go. So what I thought might be nice is... I really want to just colour a background first. I don't know why. 
So you might want to do that with me. So let's have a little look. I'm going to get some oil pastels. So I'm not getting chalk, I'm getting oil pastels, but you can get anything you like. And I want to do a background of, I kind of want to do light blue. So I'm going to go round him. Oh, I could do a rainbow background, but not draw a rainbow, just do it. Oh yeah, do you know what? I might do that. Yeah, I might do that, do something different. So, any colour you like. I'm going around my Fred the Warus, Abigail. That's what we can call him. <laughs> Fred the Warus. Let me know, Ben, if you want me to draw anything. Because I'll gladly do it for you all. I've had lots of requests, which is really nice. So, after I've done my blue, I'm going to do some yellow. Live the dream. So I'm only doing this because I like a cool gut background. What goes after yellow, do you think? It needs to be quite light, doesn't it? I think I'd keep it there actually. Then I'd get my finger. And I love the fact that when I smudge, these oil pastels are awesome. When I smudge, it is hard to smudge, isn't it? Because it can get a bit tiring. But when I smudge, it creates a really cool background because you get rid of all those white bits, can you see? Okay. Okay. We're good, we're good. So the warmer your finger is, the easier you can smudge because it melts the oil pastel. If it's chalk, it's easier, so much easier to smudge or blend. If it's watercolour, you're going to do it with water, so you don't, you don't have to use your hands, which is cool. Now, as you can see, quite like that. I feel like my yellow's turning into my green. Uh, yellow and blue is making the green, which is kind of cool, isn't it? And if I wanted to, I could carry on and do orange and purple. That would look really nice. So that's my background for now. As I can say, I can change it. I could probably do stars in the sky. I could I could have red bobbles, whatever background you like. And then I might start using chalk. So my warus is quite brown, actually. I think they're quite brown. Yeah, this one's quite brown. So we're gonna do a bit of a brown. So I'm gonna go round. Now, the good thing about oil pastel is it won't affect the chalk. So I'm just, any colour you want, you're going to go round him. So you're just going round, you could use chalk. Whatever you want to use, you're going round to the lines. Take your time. I don't think I'm going to go round, I don't think I'm going to go round the um, tusks, the teeth things. Okay, and the more lines he's got the better really, because he is one lined wrinkly thing. But his head, but as many wrinkles as you can put really will look cool. Once you've done that I'm going to get my finger and I'm going to draw over the lines, but also smudge a bit. So I'm sort of smudging a little bit. More there, maybe. If you can see what I'm doing. Most of him's not going to be coloured in. It's quite nice because it gives him the effect of... 3D-ness, do you know what I mean? He looks like he's 3D. Three-dimensional. Right, once you've done that, I want to do black, because black makes everything look amazing. I'm going to outline this black, but you've got to be super careful, because it's actually a colour of um, more yellowy, really, because it's like your teeth, so you just want to draw around it. This is to make it stand out, but you could do a yellowy one if you want. 
um, and then underneath there we've got a bit of shadow right what I might want to do is I'm gonna go there's like all the nose bits black I'm just gonna super double check that bit so we're gonna do black there I'm doing black there and he's got that this massive nose bit that's like that and that is all black Ooh. Now you don't see the nostrils now, do you? So you're going to smudge. That's going to smudge in. Oof. It's very black, isn't it? It's very dark. I'm going to rub a little bit out because it won't make sense if it's too, if it's too dark. Now what you want to do now, if you can, is put the nostrils back in darker. So you're like making that bit black, but you're not, you don't want the whole thing solid black, if that makes sense, you want a little bit. And then we can go over the eye. I would go as far as to outline some bits in black. Just, it just looks awesome when you can outline some things. And he's got shadow under here. So if you want to add the shadow, and just start doing more, more black. Whoa. I like the idea of him splashing. But I don't know if he would, it would only splash if he dived in there. Oh, he's kind of cute. I quite like him. <laughs> I quite like, do you know what? I, I feel like the tusks should be yellowy though. So you could put a bit of yellow in there. Maybe not smudge too much because it gets to, gets a bit messy with the chalk. And then we could get some white, add a bit of white in there to make it look like he's, oh, my picture keeps going off. <laughs> but add a bit of white in his eye to make him, that's what you could do, shiny bits. Put some white in there. Yeah, I really quite like him actually. My new best friend. I haven't seen any of my friends for quite some time. <laughs> I can draw my own friends maybe. Um, so yeah, there we are. I'm going to do a little bit of black there. I just quite like the idea of some shadow. So once you've done that, have a go at any background you like. Any background. And I'm going to do, do you know what I might do? Grey under here for a rock. So you could do a multicoloured rock or something. I quite like not finishing the whole picture. As in, colouring a bit of it. You don't need to colour the bottom of the page really. Then to make it look like a rock, oh, I just threw my pastel down, but I can't find it now. Maybe the lesson for me there is don't throw things on the table. Gonna go around it nice. Whoa. So you just have some fun. I'm just going and doing my own thing now because I'm literally just doing bits that I like. So you can add whatever you like. I could do a seashell that's green. I could do the seaweed that's a dark green. I quite like that light green as well. And then we could do a really cool yellow starfish. So that's really simple, but you can make yours look awesome. You could do a rainbow starfish, or you could do a rainbow shell. That would be lovely, actually, because I feel like my shells... It's nice, but it's not, it could be better. You know, we could make it multicolored or make it different colors. Because at the moment it looks a bit plain, doesn't it? So it's up to you, you can make your shell look awesome. Uh, there we are. Yeah, so what do we say his name was? Oh no, I can't remember his name. Is it Rupert? I think all of Fred, it was Fred, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah, have fun doing your warus and Abigail. Let me know what it looks like. And um, all of you have loads of fun doing this. He's a really cute little animal. Never really liked waruses that much before, they were lovely, but I never really wanted to draw one. But now I'm like, hmm, quite enjoyed drawing that. So, yeah, have some fun. Let me know how you get on, and I'll be drawing a guinea pig at some point. So, that'll be cool. I think I'm doing a guinea pig for. Where's the piece of paper? 
Oh, I wrote down all the requests. I just can't find them now. Well, I'll tell, I'll tell the, aha! There we are, Vivian, Vivian, I'll do you guinea pig. <laughs> so I'll see you tomorrow.